and then there is this ai artificial intelligence there is this back end thing this whole you know internet internet is a big mess it's very difficult so yeah we have failed because we are not first we are not well equipped we are not skilled the people who go and do the investigation are themselves not aware about how an investigation have to be done almost 28% rise in human trafficking in india is it time to talk about it see we have failed because there is no stringent action taken the cases the cases go in courts for years and years there is no uh, you know what you call conviction happening first first reason there is no conviction happening cases are delayed firs are not registered in time investigation takes a lot of time uh, the main thing is that there is no fear there is, should be a fear na like when you commit a murder there is a fear there should be a fear no if i am doing trafficking i will end up in jail most of the time people are not arrested because of lack of evidence or whatever so there is no fear i i still i can still tell you i have met somebody one survivor of mine who told that there is someone who has trafficked 10 girls everybody knows but he is not behind bars now imagine if you have tra- trafficked 10 girls and you are roaming all around freely when you know that you have already done a crime 10 times you are not behind bars will you be scared when you will do the 11th crime so the problem is that convictions don't happen people are not arrested firs don't are not registered in the right time the entire natro- network is so strong uh, nowadays transactions happen in google pay earlier people used to buy and sell through conversations now people buy and sell people through google google pay there is no evidence sitting in bangalore or delhi people the satellite shows they are somewhere in uk us so the entire network has become so tough and then there is this ai artificial intelligence there is this back end thing this whole you know internet internet is a big mess it's very difficult so yeah we have failed because we are not first we are not well equipped we are not skilled the people who go and do the investigation are themselves not aware about how an investigation have to be done uh, people don't work together and ngos work in silos they don't collaborate and work that is the primary primary priority when you work in uh, when you work in um, you know causes or you know issues like human trafficking gender based violence everybody should work together if i am working in delhi let me work in delhi i should not open an office in assam or bengal or anywhere let's upskill people who are who are in those states together see it's a movement i can't stop it abid you can't stop it everybody has to take accountability we can't so that is the reason i focus primarily on prevention now because i know if 1000 people are trafficked i might be able to rescue one or two but if i do prevention if i do awareness if i do alert campaigns if i talk to people more i can create i can impact more 100 times more so i think channelizing is a problem networking is a problem collaboration is a problem people think it's somebody else's problem people never think it is it is their problem we think that ye uske ghar ka problem it is their person's family problem it is not my problem but you don't know that it might be your problem also tomorrow you might not you might you might also end up getting under this thing so that, that is a problem please like share subscribe and press the bell icon so that dent brings you interesting videos which you can watch and awaken your surroundings and yourself